temperatures rise, uh, it's... Um, Lindsay's here. Uh, it's nice to get outside and enjoy the sunshine, but inside, bed bugs are also enjoying the warmer weather. So, to keep them at bay, our Queen of Clean is here with her handy tips and tricks. Good morning to you. So, morning, is that guys. what it is? Is it because it's warmer? Yeah, if They're... you've noticed, it's warm one day, rain in the next, so it's sort of breeding them even more. And between oh. May and October, it's when we sort of get them really bad. Is this something that we've got to sort of keep in perspective here? Because yeah. we've all yeah, grown up, <laughs> we've all been perfectly OK, <laughs> the weather has changed and it's got warmer and more humid yeah. and we've all still survived. It's been Definitely. all right. I, know, I, don't, I don't ever recall having, having any association with a bed bug ever. Yeah, that, no, that's totally right what you're saying, but some people are unfortunate and sometimes they get sort of an infestation in their house and it's not just your beds and that they live in. Yeah, it's allergies and they can jump from your beds to your carpets. But one of the biggest ways that they come into your house is from travelling. Um, so when you're going on holiday with your suitcase, you're putting your suitcase like we have here on the bed when you come back from your holiday, that mattress may not have been sort of vacuumed on a regular basis, may have the bed bugs. And what the bed bugs do is they go for your suitcase because it's a dark space. They climb in there and then you're bringing them home. And you can't see them. They're tiny, they're microscopic. You can get some that are slightly bigger that are about half a centimetre. So you'll see the old one that will hop. So just hop oh across God, your bed. Oh, God, this makes me but feel really... It, it is, it is like quite this. rare, but oh. it's more this time of year. You may be noticing the little bites that you may be getting, and you might be thinking, well, why have Where's I been bitten? Where's that coming from? And they're tiny, and they can just be a little bit irritable. But what we're doing today is we're going to prevent them from coming into your house. You okay. can spot an infestation by a trail of dark or rusty spots. That's the excrement yeah. of them. And they leave that on your skin. I know this sounds really disgusting. Leave it on your skin? They do, so that sometimes the little red bites can be their poo. <laughs> So <laughs> there, there you go. That's not, that's that, that, there you go. That's and, that's, that's and that's someone that's got it really bad, which is which is rare. But what we're just doing today is we're just going to yeah. stop them from coming okay, in. Okay. Because there it. are people that do get them. So number one, when you come back from your holiday, don't put your suitcase on your bed. Yeah. yeah. Take it to your laundry area. Get your laundry in straight away. Take it outside. Air it or just give it a quick wipe. You haven't okay. got to be too intense with your suitcase. Um, so your actual bed itself, I've got a few little products here. So I've been, um, this spray here, this is really good. So it's a natural spray, yep. it's toxin free. So yep. you can spray it on your bed, spray it on your cushions. And it's things like these cushions that we perhaps don't wash on a regular basis, your dress cushions and your dress throws, that you can just spray that on. It's got no harmful smell or anything and it won't damage That's any good. of the fabrics. That's good, kill them? No, it just gets, it just stops them from coming. Oh, so we're just stopping them from coming onto your bed. Yeah, and you can spray it around the bed as well, under your bed is where they go. So if you store... Then they all sit on the carpet, yeah. all around the bed, waiting for it to <laughs> wear off like a you. moat. So if you just do that regularly, like a moat, <laughs> Philip. Um, but that will help, oh, and it will stop them from jumping around. So okay. use something like that. Yeah. And this one here, so these are really good, so you can pick that one up and give it a sniff. Um, this is like a little Chinese tea bag. So it's a little pouch that you can pop on in. Of. You could just lavender would you say? Well, it's quite nice. Yeah, so you can pop that in your pillowcase. And again, it's going to prevent they don't like it. it. But what I found with this is, so I've obviously been testing these things, this has helped me sleep really well. So it really? obviously doubles up, unless it's just, you know, in your head, you know, how sometimes it's it quite can be. That's a lot of yeah, rosemary. Yeah, it's a nice yeah. smell. So you yeah. can, and they last about two to three months, and then you can just change them. Um, again, they're sort of, they're eco-friendly as well, yeah. so there's no damage to the planet. So you can pop those just in your bed, under your mattress, those sorts of things. Very nice. Obviously, I've showed it before, so we've got the mattress vacuum. And I think lots of people forget to sort of vacuum their mattress, don't they? How often do we vacuum in mattresses? Once a month's probably enough. You know, yes, yeah. I'd say. Yeah, you know, and just and this one is it's a UV one as well. Um, so the UV is obviously disinfectant at the same time. Yeah. But just run something like that over. They're not that expensive. They're about forty pounds, but it's something that you will just have most of, most of your life, really. Right. But they I mean, last the thing is that time. It, did they did it kill them when you wash your sheets and you and you? And it you does bed? if you're washing at high temperatures. But with the way that we are with energy these days, obviously we're trying to wash at lower temperatures, of course, right. using colder waters, but that adding in sense, maybe a it? natural disinfectant. So when all so the you're sheets. Not always Called, are always off the bed. Them. You, that's when you want to. That's when you, you want to use something bed. like. And then what you want to do is, is make sure that you actually empty out the capsule after you've done your vacuuming. Otherwise, they're sat in there and can potentially get back out. Um, another thing that we can do. Sorry. <laughs> So if you've got a handheld steamer at home, the yeah. power of steam, we've spoken about steam a lot on the show before, 
give you a better blast. I'm not actually going to press this because sometimes your steamer can actually release some hot water. I don't want to cause any damage. Um, but yeah, just give it a nice big blast with some steam um, and that, that's really good. So in between washing your sheets, so if you're too busy to wash your sheets weekly. And you duvet. I mean, yeah, yeah, and you do. In the and another thing you can do with your duvet is beautiful daylight today. If you can't fit it in your washing machine, just go kind of hang it on the washing line. Mm. Let the sun's a natural disinfectant. It's going to air it, let the fresh air through it. So there's lots of little things that we can do because we're all busy. So washing the bed constantly, I you know, know, it's not easy. It's a big job, isn't it? Especially if you've got children as yeah, well. You're doing yeah. everyone. Um, and another good thing you can get is there are now anti-allergen bedding. So we've got here a mattress protector which mm. zips right round the mattress. That's good for stopping the bed bugs. So you can get products like that. Can't now. they clean, can't and climb bedding. through it? No, they're really good. So this one zips. I think the price point on this one was a little bit more expensive than buying a normal mattress protector. But if you're prone to them and you're prone yeah. to being bitten, it's an investment, isn't it, really? And then you can get the sheets as well. I believe those are from Dum Elms. Um, and again, they're extra thick, so they're going to stop them from getting through. So there's lots of things we can actually do without being too over the top with yeah. this and steaming and doing all that regularly. So very humid, so you can get, obviously, a dehumidifier at the moment. Mm -hmm. Keep that in your bedroom. These are just good anyway, just to clean the air, just to make you sleep better. That's not going to prevent bed bugs, though, is it? No, but it's just going to keep the it's going to keep the air cleaner. Right. And if it's clean, they're going to be less likely to come to you. Because they haven't got that humidity. Yeah, and they, they, they want to go for those warm, dark places. Yeah, and if you've yeah. got loads of clutter in your bedroom, you know, you take your clothes off, you put them on your chair rather than putting them away, they're going to go for those areas. So, you know, just put things away. Okay. Um, and then, obviously, moving on to, like, hopping around the house. So they're not going to stay in one place, are mm. they? They're going to come down the stairs, they're going to go in your lounge, they're going to sit on your sofa. Bill. Having a great time. <laughs> it's a bed bug, so a bed bug can also be a kitchen bug. It can be another bug, yeah. So Sofa that, bug. Yeah, then get all over, because they like those dark places. So what we've got here is this one here. So this is like um, a powder that you put onto your carpet, brush it in with a brush, leave it for a couple of hours, vacuum it off. It's going to clean it, it's going to stop them. And you'd only use this if you've got them, if you'll notice you're being bitten yeah, all of the time. Yeah, this is part of your regular Yeah, routine. this is just what you would do if you know you've got them. You can get the dust mite plug-in as well, so you can plug that in. That gives off an ultrasound. We we can't hear it, but the bugs and the mites. So sends can. them all next door. Sends them all next door. Yes, your neighbours won't be happy. No. They'll be coming out with their bites all over their arms, and you know no. why that's happened. And then you've just got some general sprays that you can just spray on your carpets, on your furniture. Um, and then we've got another carpet sort of cleaner here. This is a cleaner one, not one that's specific for bugs. But again, if you haven't got a carpet cleaner and you want to do this once or twice a year, um, these are really, really handy you just, just to have. Sprinkle them. Yeah, on I there. like doing this one actually. You need know, to sprinkle it, leave it, and then vacuum it. You know, and it works. It's does and it just makes it smell fresh yeah and a carpet clean is a big job you know getting yeah, yeah. one of those out cleaning your carpets it can take quite a lot of time can't it so we've got those as well and then obviously you know how much I like to make something myself where's my your home I no I have got by car but there's no lemons uh -huh. which is disappointing isn't it Phil? <laughs> <It's a little. laughs> <laughs> what are you, what are you, so what are you making here? OK, so we can make a spray for the bed, the mattress, so hydrogen peroxide, bicarb, water, essential oils into a bottle. I'm sure you'll put the recipe on the app thing, yeah, won't you? Yeah, do that. Give it a shake and then you can just spray that all over the mattress, leave it, get a dry towel and then just take the surface of it off and that's going to stop them. So that's perhaps easier than steaming or using mm. the machine. Or you can just make a spray as well using the same formula but adding in some